perform a packing change, loosen the gland and packing nut. Finish removing the packing nut by hand, then remove the collet and slide the nut off of the plunger. Now remove the gland. Once the gland is removed, reinstall the collet and the packing nut and tighten the assembly. To remove the packing, simply turn on the supply water briefly. The pressure will blow the packing assembly out of the cartridge and onto the plunger. Let's take a moment to look at the packing assembly. It is made up of the packing spring, the throat bushing, the packing set, which includes three rings of packing and a backup ring, and the lantern ring. Use the included tool to assemble the packing stack. Each piece of packing has a split that is visible under close examination. It is important that each piece of packing be installed so that its split is 120 degrees away from the split on the piece above and or below it. Next, install the backup ring. Now slide the plunger into the packing assembly and push it to the front. Finally, slide on the throat bushing and the packing spring. Now, slide the packing spring into place, followed by the plunger packing assembly, and tighten the packing assembly tool by hand. Next, reinstall the plunger gland and plunger nut and reattach the plunger to the crosshead stub. Now, install the included tool with the small end towards the packing. Slide it forward so as to get it started into the cartridge. Now, use the belts to roll the pump over so that the packing nut pushes against the tool, forcing the packing assembly into the cartridge. Once the packing assembly is pushed all the way in, back the plunger off until you can remove the tool. Now, remove the packing nut and collet, remove the packing assembly tool, reinstall the lantern ring in the gland, and then tighten the gland with the supplied tool. Reinstall the plunger nut and collet, connect the plunger to the crosshead stub, and tighten the plunger nut. Next, reinstall the lubrication fittings into the cartridges. Now, replace the plexiglass cover and reattach the lubrication lines. Finally, close and secure the belt guard inspection door.